mm-hmm. because I do want the man to be man, you know, and no matter how much, and I had to tell myself this, you know, cause I mean, I do well, I do well for myself, but, um, the men, you know, that come into my, you know, trying to date them, um, it's not always easy because sometimes you do look at people like, oh, you know, no, for this reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what reason? What's the reason? I can't no, stand this shit. It. No, it's not. No, I can't stand it might this be, shit. It might just be like how they live, you know, and it's just, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's like <laughs> But they ain't moving in, in Lance. But, My I know, goodness. They they but you but in. you do have to, you know, you're supposed to have your your standards, mm-hmm. you know. But I like how Chelsea framed it cuz like mm-hmm. first of all, I don't want to I'm taking care of myself. Mm-hmm. Like if we're doing equals, I'm taking care of myself. Mm-hmm. I don't want to take care of you at all. Mm-hmm. You don't have to take care of mm-hmm. me. Like honestly, mm-hmm. and women do want to be spoiled and mm-hmm. they they're taught to be spoiled with material things. Like that's why you buy diamonds. That's why you buy. And I do like to be spoiled and I do like gifts, but you know what? That's an, a, a display of affection. Mm-hmm. And the same way that you do that for me, I will be doing that for you. Mm-hmm. Guess what? We break bread together. That's equality to me. Mm-hmm. But the, and I'm fine with sharing costs of living equally. I have no, like, that's my life. That's my reality. And, but if I got to take care of you, that means that's taking away from me taking care of me or me building something. And, and like, if you come into the table, that that's what I know, I don't that's think that's, that's right. Do. Actually, that's I don't think that's right. To. That's what y'all are here for. Y'all was here to go right. to war and Provide die and, and leave us all your money. <laughs> <laughs> Provide and protect. Okay, well, no, we meant to build a, a, a legacy together. So I want to, like, Howard, I don't think that it, I think you should be able to provide for yourself. So it's what's like, the point of being married or in a relationship in general outside of sex or yo you know what i'm saying i just feel like being around somebody because i don't feel like being around by myself but let lance answer the question and kind of in, in a way selfishness right because you want to be you know whoever it is they want to be taken care of and then they want to be spoiled and it's not really based off of pouring into the other person Right, because I, I kind of look at marriage as as more of a selfless thing, right? Mm-hmm. When you do something, even when you're doing it for yourself, you're doing it understanding that the other person is largely going to be the beneficiary of it. If mm-hmm. I if I'm if I get rich, right, the person that's going to be doing all of the spending and the shopping is really going to be her. It really mm-hmm. ain't even going to be me, <laughs> right? But the but the the new version of this is much much different than that. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a, it's more of a selfish versus a selfless thing. So Why do you can, say that? Well, what, because, what changed? Because it's like, but the requirements is different, right? Nobody is really dependent on anybody, and everybody is kind of just getting what it is that they can out of it, and saying, "Well, this if this don't meet my expectation, then I'm out." Just because he's a bus driver doesn't mean like his finances aren't together where he can right? step up That's to hard. either be better than you or match your level. Mm-hmm. Also, it's like she's very replaceable. Like, what is she like? Almost forty, and <laughs> she's not married. Well, that's I don't think she had kids. The thing that men look for in women is completely different from the thing that women look. But for I'm men. saying a man that she wants. So if you wouldn't date a bus driver who is successful and got everything right in like the standards of finance, well, lawyer, his morals. She got way more bread than that. Right, she but what man is going to want you at that age? You're wearing all this weave, this makeup, these lashes. You probably got a bad attitude. Clearly from the videos, you got a smart <laughs> mouth. You probably not cooking because you're going to be working mm-hmm. late. She needs the bus. You probably she, not cleaning. She needs the bus driver. You definitely need a bus driver. He not going to mind cooking and <laughs> cleaning every now and again. He might yeah, rub your feet. That, that balance. Matter of fact, you, she need the nigga that ain't got shit to do. He he needs to be there at her you know baking call. Cleaning your house, like I'm just saying, yeah. like she she need a wife. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> she, but she need a wife. Even then, it's going to be backlash because you're going to be working all these hours. You're not going to have time for me. And then the way you built yourself up, which is great to be a woman, like you built yourself up, you're a lawyer, you got your, you know, you out here in the world, you you visible. And but she want a man to be her wife. Right. To do, to do what mm-hmm. for you? Like, mm-hmm. so you can have a smart attitude. You want this. You want that. You don't want to compromise with me for nothing. Why do I want you? But you think you're going to talk down on a bus driver. Well, you know better than the next. But that's what she needs. Like, that's the only mm-hmm. person that's going to deal with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he buy her probably going to quit driving buses mm-hmm. once he see how her check is. <laughs> but, and then, and I think that's why she got so much backlash because it's like. <laughs> <laughs> he got to move in. You too. can't that's say. That's she got covered. Yeah, yeah, but like you can't say, oh, he drives a bus. He's just broke. That yeah. man probably That's invested like, his yeah, money way like. better than you are. Just because you're a lawyer, don't mean you right with your finances. To people too, though, right? It yeah. is. It's yeah. optics and all that shit involved. Yeah, but that's just like I was watching this guy, and I, I'm mad that I can't remember his name, but he was a police officer and he invested his money the correct way. He started buying stocks and he got into real estate and then he ended up quitting his. Uh, job in the police force you will see this man and look past him not knowing his expectations could take him further than where you are right now Boom. Mm-hmm. but I so think it's like that's the just, conversation that needs to happen like, that what is also are your true. lifestyle expectations mm-hmm. what is your vision for the future like do we align on things mm-hmm. but she was saying she's just gonna stop it there once i hear your job title oh no mm-hmm. i'm sorry yeah, Narrow she, minded. Uh, she, heard was, she basically like go uh, go pick up my dog shit yeah. well i mean how different how different is that than any other woman right like, okay mm-hmm. so if a guy got resources, but he's not spending them on you, what good is exactly. the resource? It's, it's, to a woman. It ain't worth nothing. To a, to a woman, <laughs> in, in a woman's eyes, right? Listen, if the dude is rich, let's just be for real, right? Because all of the things matter. The status, the prestige, the lifestyle, the the impression... When women get their nails done, they're not doing it for men. They're doing it for other women. All right? No guy has ever was like, yo, I'm not busting her down because her nails is not done. Yes, they have. No, they You haven't. know what? I take they that back. You're right. That. They have never they said that right. they are not busting the chick down because her They just wouldn't take her out in public. When you think about a ring, right? The, the wedding ring or whatever. No guy cares about the size of y'all wedding ring. Y'all are literally doing that for each other. So the status, the perspective... And the visibility that mm. comes along with it, the prestige, the idea that you can go and show up and say, this is my guy or this is my chick. Well, really, this is my guy because the guys don't really care about what a chick do. But saying that this is my guy and then be elevated in the eyes of your friends or whatever society or even mm. within your own mind is meaningful to women, which is why it's not necessarily about how much he has or what it is that he saved. It's also about how it is that he projects himself you know, and a status that's associated with whatever it is that he does. I had a woman last night tell me that she wouldn't date a guy that had less than a bachelor's degree, right? Don't matter how much money you got. No, seriously, wow. literally. And she, don't matter how, how much money you got or whatever, so on and so forth, uh, because it was all superficial. But it's, it's real. It's a real thing. Class. Yeah, I feel like it's real until they want you to match that same energy because a woman will stay all day. Like she's saying she won't date somebody with a best without a bachelor's degree, but does she even have one? Does she, her standards match? Well, yeah, she was standards. a lawyer, but the other side of it was that um, titles, all that stuff, just matter to people. Mm-hmm. It's just meaningful to people in general, right? If I say that I'm, a, I'm I own a business. The business don't even necessarily have to be great or profitable or anything like that, right? <laughs> Often at times, it's much more difficult and it's much more stress- stressful to own a business than it is to work for somebody, mm-hmm. right? And collect a yeah. paycheck. Mm-hmm. But the idea of Job saying that I'm an owner of a business it sounds good. is meaningful to people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's something, you know what I'm saying? So I think that, that that status, that prestige, it plays a role in people's minds. Absolutely. And that's why so many people are alone right now. Yeah. Because y'all looking at the wrong, well, they're looking at the wrong thing. You can't be that superficial, but then like, oh, I want somebody to love me to the end of my days and come with all my baggage and take me as I am. That's not, that's not how it works. Love comes second. And then sometimes the superficial standards come later in life instead of earlier on. Like they pass up the good guys for the hood guys at the beginning, but now 
that they're getting older and stuff. They want to up their standards instead of being more humble, like yeah. they should at that certain age. Because the dating pool decreases. You've got all these different factors that could um, play a role in the dating pool, and that is going to limit your amount of success you have. For real. Oh, good guys don't Tell matter. No. 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 They no. do. At they the do. Because I'm, y'all know I be telling my story. So. Um, <laughs> tell your story, that is a, that is a you know they don't matter it do, it do because i was dating this, this no, y'all, 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 y'all don't like good niggas. let me tell you y'all don't so like good I was guys. Say, I'm good, good guys be guy. ugly most of the time and you know he has status <laughs> he has money he has all of these things right and then this other guy he, i kept him kind of like in the friend zone for years he did everything for me, treated me nice, showed me all this love. But I was still trying to see with this person that had the status, what it was going to be like. And it wasn't shit. So I just was like, I'm straight. You know, I'm just going to go head on you over should've here. Went over, you should have kicked and, it with the bus driver. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so he's kind of like the bus driver. Yeah, 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 but I, I chose I chose driver. right this time because I'm like, but you, you know. you chose him after you had already. No, I was weighing my guy. options. I was weighing my options. But the I other guy already had first dibs. Uh-huh. Yeah, he had first dibs. Yeah, he's, sure. That was the favorite.